uh, I'm sure uh, you know uh, all uh, people in the FMCG industry must be striving towards you know gaining a complete connected supply chain experience and able to take real time decisions as we just talked about in our previous uh, group discussion. You know, I'll just uh, deep dive into the different technologies that we use uh, from the IoT business. That how we connect the different aspects of supply chain and make sure that you are able to take true real-time decisions. of uh, connected uh, supply chain is, you know, we talk about operational efficiency, uh, we talk about behavioral changes, you know, that might be the logistics team or drivers or different stakeholders that could be your clients, that could be your vendors and obviously the complete visibility for all the stakeholders in the industry and last but not the least, the safety. So that's one of the concern for every organization today. What we do when it comes to different, when we talk about different parts of supply chain, we talk about inbound, implant, outbound, which can be both primary or secondary movements, and then obviously the last mile, which could be like first mile or last mile, right? So all these different legs of your supply chain will have different needs. Your inbound. You don't know when the trip is starting, you know, who is controlling uh, the load because it's your vendor or the port, right, which is shipping material to you. Then in plant, you know, we've been talking to a lot of players these days. Uh, safety is a big concern when, when the trucks uh, move in plant because there are fixed routes that the truck fly and because of a non-automated in plant movement, a non-IoT driven in plant movement, there are traffic jams inside the plant on main legs. And if somebody actually has to make sure that there, you know, there's an ambulance and the, uh, there's an accident and ambulance has to drive that path, it's not possible at all. So that's where the in-plant automation of movement of trucks come into picture. When we talk about outbound, all the three legs, is it either primary, secondary, first mile or last mile, will have different challenges. So we basically have different technologies where we can solve multi different problems of different legs. It could be, you know, uh, different location technologies, <coughs> which could be GPS, fast track, thin based tracking, or a mobile based tracking. Then <coughs> there's video telematics. Uh, when it comes to video telematics, we are talking about different levels of engagement with the vehicle today. A normal location can only, you know, take you to a particular level of analytics where we are talking about either the distance traveled or the routes taken. Whereas video telematics also talk about how the driver has been driving. And harsh braking and harsh accelerations are all you know uh, parameters that we used to just five years back. Today, uh, you know, with relay trucking coming in, express logistics coming in, you know, uh, and every logistics team has to you know move ahead of their competitors. That's where the, you know, <coughs> driver gets tired. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on all these stakeholders in the industry. So we've also found, you know, uh, driver actually sleeping in the trucks when we, when we've done, you know, driver monitoring system using video telematics in vehicles. So video telematics is adding a lot of value today uh, with ADAS technology also maturing. Uh, that we have been able to avoid 73% of accidents in the, uh, uh, we have able to reduce 73% accidents in the fleet that we are working with uh, in ADAS solutions. So video telematics is one of the very important parameters when it comes to safety uh, uh, aspect of any supply chain. Sa other safety solutions also include like locks, 
two way communication system as per the mobilizer that we obviously have been talking about from lot many years but the implementation for each of them has improved that so that <coughs> now that ease of the way this has been implemented and the acceptance at the ground level has also increased these are some of the dashboards which help take uh, real time decisions that we were talking about uh, video telematics so this is how you know you see a, a vehicle on the vehicle on the road and how you can just with a click of the button move to how the real time uh, vehicle will look at when you know look like when you are uh, when the vehicle is on the road you can see the front view which is the adas you can see a cabin view you know how the driver is doing inside the vehicle it might be you know a last mile vehicle or a trailer <coughs> similarly uh, it see uh, in when we talk about supply chain typically consigners don't own trucks right but vehicle diagnostics is still an important part which you know uh, i was talking to a company uh, last week itself and uh, they had a very strong checklist that if the vehicle comes on load there is a fixed checklist that has to be ticked before a vehicle takes a load right and they are the guys who make sure that the vehicle health diagnostic needs to be done because they they carry a very premium material so when they are carrying a premium material they don't want even a slightest of error in the vehicle that that can hamper their delivery when the truck is on the move so vehicle health diagnostics help us take the complete end to end status of a vehicle not just basis how it looks from outside but also how it is inside so vehicle health diagnostics become a really important parameter when uh, you know again the safety aspect of your supply chain comes moving from the safety to the analytics layer lot of decision making happens based on the data that we provide to the consigners <coughs> moving from safety to the analytics there are multiple layers that you need to work on there we have to incorporate like when we work in uh, short deliveries like your secondary deliveries which are typically less than 300 kilometers in many 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 times you would not even know the exact delivery point that is something that has to be estimated and that estimation of the exact delivery point happens on multiple analysis basis the la previous trips done on similar routes basis the stoppages the vehicle has taken basis the uh, pin code or the address with the reverse geo coding uh, where the vehicle was headed then direction of movement so there are multiple things that helps take decision uh, that's where the the analytics the al and ml layer comes into picture some of the dashboards that help take real time <coughs> this is yeah uh, so this dashboard helps you take real time decisions when we are when we are talking about what the trip was doing it was it in plant was it in route or is it returning back to the yard so everything is visible right at the corner with a small pie chart so this is the kpi kpi dashboard now as a consigner every consigner will have a different kpi to map this is where you can have your own kpi map it could be either uh, you know safety driven it could either be operational driven it could be transporter based it could be route based so whatever kpis that you need in different ways of graph or in pan india level you can see those kpis right here on the dashboard so this is basically the management dashboard moving forward to a control center so now most of the consigners that we go to and hence we are able to implement control center across multiple consigners that is they say that we can use your system but our people don't have knowledge to operate your system right you throw us lot of data but we don't you know we don't know when to take when to do what with the different information that your platform is throwing so that's where we help set up a control center in all the consigners it's a small you know a four to six member team depending on the size of operations where our team will basically manage the first level of uh, 
defaults in your supply chain and make sure the right member in your team is involved at the right stage. Even the first level of communication to the outside world is managed by the team. So all MIS reporting, stakeholder management, all exception management and basic analytics is done by our team. So it's end to end visibility, the uh, uh, information sharing with all these stakeholders and automatic decision making. So that's where the consigner defines the decision making role and our team is able to make decisions based on the rules that different consigners defi define of their, for their supply chain. Uh, yeah, thank you. I hope this was interesting and uh, there was some learning for everyone sitting in the audience. Any questions? Please? Ladies and gentlemen, if there are any questions, please raise your hands and we'll get the mic passed. Of course, preference always to the golden seats at the, at the very start of the uh, ballroom. But uh, if you do have any questions, please raise your hand. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, with this we'd like to appreciate and uh, thank uh, Mr. Harman Singh Arora, CEO, Chitropi, a uh, Map My India company. Let's give him a huge, huge uh, round of applause, Mr. Singh. And uh, with this we'd like to appreciate and uh, thank his efforts by a lovely gift of appreciation from our side.